Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and in this video, we're going to talk about Dynamat, specifically the Dynamat Extreme Door Kit. First of all, let's talk about what Dynamat is. This is a small piece of it right here. It is a multi-layered vibration damping material or sound deadening. There's rubber in there, there's aluminum in there, and it's sticky, and you adhere it to the metal parts of your car that might vibrate, especially when you install speakers. Speakers move, they make vibrations, and if they're mounted to thin sheet metal, like your car, that metal will move and vibrate and make noise as well. Dynamat reduces, sometimes eliminates those noises. You might be surprised just how much of an impact applying Dynamat can make. Here's what a door sounds like before Dynamat. And here's what it sounds like after Dynamat. Uh, you're going to need some tools to install it. Uh, let's talk about what they are, and then we're going to get into installing a Dynamat Extreme door kit in this Subaru. First, you're going to need some tools to remove your door panel, some trim panel removal tools, screwdrivers, things like that. You're going to want some rubbing alcohol, maybe some shop rags to clean the surface you're going to be adhering the Dynamat to. You're going to want some scissors or a razor knife to cut the Dynamat and shape it the way you need it. And you want a roller tool to push that Dynamat into the contours of your door. You'll also want some gloves to keep the sticky stuff from the Dynamat from getting all over your fingers. So the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the door panel uh, from the door so that we can expose the metal underneath. To do that, I've got a screwdriver, some trim panel tools. We'll remove some screws, pry this door panel out, uh, and then we can uh, start to look at where we're going to apply our Dynamat. Uh, a couple tips for you. If you bought your speakers from Crutchfield, you'll get a master sheet. These are our detailed instructions for exactly how to remove the door panel in your car. And also another pro tip, you're going to want to turn your dome light off or disconnect the negative battery cable so that your dome light doesn't drain your battery while you're doing your installation. So now that we have our door panel removed, uh, you can see the uh, vapor barrier. We're going to remove that completely and replace it with Dynamat. We're also going to do our best to remove all this sticky stuff that holds the vapor barrier in place. And we're going to remove the speaker. For this installation, we are also installing new speakers, hence the Dynamat. There's several ways to get this done. Uh, you're going to want to basically replace this vapor barrier with your Dynamat. Uh, and if you are lucky enough to get the vapor barrier removed in one piece, you might be able to use that as a template uh, so you'll know exactly what size and shape you're going to want to cut your Dynamat into. Um, that's just one way to do it. The, uh, it's also possible to put your Dynamat up here on your door in smaller pieces uh, and cut them to shape as needed. All right, so we're going to use the rubbing alcohol to remove any greasy stuff, fingerprints, anything that would keep the Dynamat from sticking to the door really good. That should just about do it. So the Dynamat Extreme door kit comes with four pieces of Dynamat. This size, it's 12 inches by 36 inches. Uh, and we should be able to use two pieces per door. We're basically going to put it up here like this. Uh, and cut it to fit. Uh, things we've got to consider here are wires, we've got screw holes that hold the door panel in place, uh, and we don't want the Dynamat to be sticking out at all once we've put our door panel back on, so we're going to make sure to stay within the uh, confines of the door panel itself. And so you can kind of see the outline for that in the sheet metal there. So we'll use that as a guide uh, for where our Dynamat needs to start and stop. Um, you're going to want to save your scraps when you cut them off too because you'll be able to use those to fill in some nooks and crannies elsewhere on your door. All right, so we've got our top half pretty much done. We're going to go ahead and get our bottom piece, do the same thing, uh, cover up the bottom half of the door. We'll get our scraps to cover up any holes where we didn't quite get coverage. Uh, and then once we have it all in place, we'll go ahead and use our roller uh, to really mash it down into the nooks and crannies and remove any air bubbles. So as you can see, we've got most of the door covered. This is the piece we sort of cut away to make sure we had enough left 
to cover what's probably the most important part is right around where the speaker is going to mount. It's going to screw into this metal and we want that metal to not vibrate along with the rest of the door. So we've got a big piece here. We're going to overlap our existing Dynamat. We're going to cut a hole for the speaker, poke our screw holes through. We'll probably take that round piece and stick it to the uh, body metal on the uh, way inside of the door there. So as you can see, we've got the interior of our door pretty well completely covered with Dynamat and it clearly made a huge difference. We've got our speaker mounted, uh, connected. We've tested it to make sure it, uh, the wires and everything are working, speakers working. So now it's pretty much time to put this door back together and then go to the other side of the car and do the same thing over there. So we just installed a Dynamat Extreme door kit. It comes with just enough Dynamat to cover the inside of two doors. Uh, there's Dynamat products for all the different parts of your car. There's a license plate frame kit. Uh, there's a trunk Extreme kit. There is a Dyna pad to go under the carpet of your car. There's a hood liner, Dyna liner. All of these things work to reduce those vibrations in your car. Uh, it makes your music sound better. It reduces road noise and wind noise. So if you're looking to put Dynamat in your car, talk to one of our advisors. You can go to crutchfield.com slash contact. You can call us, you can chat with us, and we can help you get the right Dynamat for your car. You can also post your questions right here on YouTube down in the comment section and we do look at those and respond to your comments accordingly. And you can also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and hit notifications, turn them on so you'll know when we're going to put out another video. Thanks for watching.